everyone and welcome back to our channel once again we're gonna go out and videotape a nice house here in the subdivision that you can look at it's a beautiful two-story home this one has some yard space outside it's very well landscaped it's a beautiful home it has a nice terrace in the upper deck that you can go outside and drink your coffee on or whatnot so anyway without further ado let's roll over there and check it out Thanks for going with us, guys. We'll see you later. Here we are in Tamarin Grove. And the first thing you'll notice about this house is it's just visually stunning. It's very well. The architectural design looks nice. You're gated all the way around. And what I really like about this property is it has a really large size yard, especially by Philippine standards. Just really a nice uh, looking home. You're gated all the way around and covered in. Place to park your car or your motorcycle right there. And there's a nice terrace up top. We'll take a look at that whenever we go upstairs. And just take a look at the landscaping and this yard. It's really nice. You got little coconut palms dotting around the outside and nice shrubbery along your fence line. It says there's a lot of room for kids to run around or you could get out and throw a frisbee or a football around if you were inclined to do so. Just a really nice house. As you just a nice view of the what you'd see out in the yard. As you walk around, you see your backyard is also you got some room back here as well. The people that live here now, they pop some uh, lawn chairs out there and Come out and sit in the evening and have a cool drink or come out in the morning and drink some coffee. That's one entry into the house from the back. And then you have another entryway right here that's also covered. And looks like they hang their clothes on the line out here in the back. This house is 100% furnished, which I was really excited to show you guys. It, it includes a television, a washing machine. Big beds in every room. Three full bathrooms. I think there's even a, a toilet in, in the corner behind the laundry, which could also be doubled as a maid's quarters. Now, there's a lot of room here in the carport area. I really like the architectural design of this house. I imagine it cost a pretty peso whenever it was first built. But that's a Western guy there. I think he's from the United States. I didn't get a chance to talk to him, but he's lived here for a couple of years from what I understand. So let's go inside the house. And the first room that we'll get into is the sala or the living room. And as I mentioned, all the furniture that you see in here is included with the house. It's 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 fully furnished. You're, I mean, it's you turn key and move in and you're ready to roll. You'd probably have to get your own uh, utensils and plates and stuff, but all the furniture is included. I sat on the chairs. They, they're fairly comfortable. You got a decent-sized TV over here mounted on the wall. We have a decent Internet connection here in the subdivision. Got a sound system that goes with the TV. Not bad. Moving into the dining room area, you got a nice size dining room table which does have six chairs they just weren't at the table whenever we made the video there's that door you can see that leads to the outside that's a nice vase there you got a bar area with two bar stools where you could eat your breakfast or lunch or whatever you felt like doing if you just wanted to eat over by the kitchen nice clock lamp there just really nice. The floor was in good condition. And let's look in the kitchen. As I said, everything's included. Your refrigerator, freezer, the stove, oven, all included. Nice sink. A lot of storage space in this kitchen, both below and above. A lot of room to store stuff. And it even has at the end of the kitchen 
past the refrigerator when we get down there. It also has a, a dirty kitchen area inside, which is that's a little different than what I'm accustomed to. Most of the places I've looked at before, the dirty kitchen was actually outside the house in the back. But this one, they have their dirty kitchen. It's it's inside, which that's actually pretty nice. You could wash dishes back here if you felt like it or clean fish, which that's a favorite pastime in the Philippines. A lot of room in here, guys. There's a, a door that leads out into the backyard. And this is the what would be a maid's quarters, or in this case, it's a laundry room. Comes complete with the washing machine. And back in the corner behind there, which I didn't realize it, there was also another toilet back there and sink. But I miss that. And you, no one has dryers in the Philippines. I don't even, it's just rare you even see them sold in stores. Everybody dries their clothes out on the clothesline because of the hot temperatures and, and nice breezes. Here's a bathroom, full bathroom. It's in nice condition. Nice sink, western style toilet. Big shower with sliding doors on it. The only thing that I found kind of weird about this bathroom is that there's a sliding glass door that goes from the shower directly outside. But it is covered out there. It has a little wall all the way around the, the outside there. I, I don't know. Maybe you could take a shower and then step out on the grass and dry it off. I, I don't know. But anyway, it, it was a nice bathroom. Now let's head upstairs and, and check out the bedrooms and the other two bathrooms that are upstairs. Really a lot of room up here. All three bedrooms have air conditioning. The master bedroom has a split type air conditioner. Now most of the items, the personal items in this room, are not included with the uh, with the house, but the bed, the cabinets, the the closet where you put your clothes, that stuff is included. But all of the personal items that you see here would be gone. Then we move down to the next bathroom, which also has a sliding glass door on the shower. Now this house does not have any hot water heaters in the bathrooms. But the owner is definitely uh, amenable to allowing tenants to install those if you like. I, these guys just didn't really want the hot water heater, so they never put it in. I know that in the first house Jen and I rented in Pepper Grove here in Plantation, we also didn't have a hot water heater, and it really wasn't that big of a deal. I do enjoy having one now, don't get me wrong, but we were fine without it. No, that's a nice bathroom, as you'll notice, the two. Then we come down this way to bedroom number two. Also has a nice full-size bed. I don't know if you would call this a double or a full, but it's definitely big enough for two people. You have an air conditioner and plenty of room to store your clothing and stuff. It's a pretty nice third bedroom here. Everything you see except the luggage is all included. Not bad. So now we're going to step down next to the master bedroom, which is really a nice room. It's very large for Philippine standards. It's a pretty big bedroom with a really big closet area over there. In German, it would be called a shrunk. Here, it's called a cabinet. But that's where you put your clothes and split type air conditioner here and master bathroom back in the corner that I'll show you here in a second. It has a full-size tub where you could ha have a seat and take a bath if you like. It's a really nice tub, nice and clean in here. Another really nice full-size bathroom. And that's the split-level air con. I'm not sure if it's an inverter type because I didn't actually look at the unit that's outside. But it's a, this is a really nice place, guys. Double bed again and nice airy with windows and on two, three sides here with great views out of the windows. And then you have a sliding glass door, which I didn't get a chance to go through while we were here today. But it goes out to a really nice looking 
terrace where you could go out and sit. And there's actually a really nice view from this terrace. And it does, it goes in all the way down the side of the house around the corner to the left here. That terrace goes all the way down to the end of the house. And you can see all the way back to the clubhouse of the plantation from out there. There you can see a little bit out that window. Now, this refrigerator is not included. That belongs to the tenants that are currently in the house right now. But anyway, guys, that's uh, pretty much it for the walk around the house. I, I hope you guys enjoy. It's like 454 U.S. dollars to rent this thing fully furnished.